In today's video, I'm going to try to explain the difference between I pairs and pairs. In programming, there are three main methods of grouping variables, but in Lua, the table is a hybrid of all three main methods. And when you loop through the table using I pairs, you're looping through the table like it's an array. And when you loop through the table using pairs, you're looping through the table like it's a linked list. So to demonstrate this, let me first create a table. And let's now loop through this table using I pairs. And let's also loop through the table using pairs. Now for me to explain how each one of these work, it would be good for me to show you without using I pairs or pairs how these loops work. So let's first create the I pairs loop without using I pairs. And now let me create the pairs loop without using pairs. So if we run the game and look at the output, we can see that pairs one, which is this loop here, is looping from keys one to four, which are these keys here. And the R custom I pairs loop which is I pairs two is also looping from one to four, just like the I pairs loop. And I uh, pairs one is looping from one to four and also looping through these two values here, which is broccoli and cake. And our custom pairs loop is also looping from one to four and broccoli and cake. If we look at the I pairs code, we can see that it's simply looping from one to the length of the table so that we know the order that they're going to be printed will be always from index one to the highest index. So you don't have to worry about if the values are gonna be out of order. But if we look at the pairs loop, we can see that the order that the values will be printed is undefined. So we cannot rely that these, these values will be printed in order. So if the order of the values is important, it's important to use I pairs instead of pairs. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below.